Welcome to the video series that my body begs me not to do again. But here we are. Now that I've tried every single tea available in Japan, if you haven't seen that video, by the way, you should go and click up there to go and watch that. It's time to review all of the coffee. Now you're thinking, yes, Connor, you are British. You know, you should stick to tea. But I do drink an awful lot of coffee. A worrying amount so. So I thought what better thing to do than try every single available Japanese coffee at the convenience stores. Now, if you're like me, you probably thought, how many can there be? You know, it's just coffee. It's literally just dirt water. I was really wrong. This is the hot section. Now, of course, it is the summer right now in Japan. So there is a very small amount of hot coffee available. I've got eight here. And I'd say in general, there's probably like 15, but I couldn't find all of them because again, it's summer and nobody wants hot coffee apparently. But I love starting my day with a hot coffee. This is the part where it gets really, really dumb. So now that we have all our hot coffee in the front there, uh, let's start putting all uh, of the cold coffees on the table. It just doesn't end. Ah, okay. Ah, this is disgusting. That's all the coffee available. Me. So this is all of the coffee that I could find in three stores, three convenience stores. It's ridiculous. There's a stupid amount and we're gonna drink it all today. I definitely shouldn't be doing that. Now, normally I drink about four to five coffees a day, at least sometimes six or seven throughout the whole day. I think there's not an occasion where I don't drink an espresso. Now, today I haven't drank any coffee, so I'm quite tired. It's uh, currently 2 p.m. Uh, and I normally would have had at least two or three coffees by now. So I'm kind of dying inside. But obviously I didn't drink any coffee today because I realized that I was gonna be drinking far more coffee than anyone ever should and probably don't do this at home. Let me know down below if I get more crazy as this video goes long. So I will start with the hot coffees first. Now, normally in these videos, when you get hot items, uh, they normally are cold by the time you hit record. But luckily, because the way I did this, big brain, massive brain, I bought them right before filming. I wanna give my initial thoughts before I jump right into it. Obviously. I've been living in Japan for nearly two years now. I never f***ing drink these. <laughs> they taste, as uh, your majesty says, disappointing. And also, at the convenience stores where you buy all these, there's normally a coffee machine that uses actual coffee beans to grind y the beans into a coffee drink that you can take. And it's normally cheaper than these. You know, normally you can get these at vending machines. You'll be on the train, you know, waiting for it. You want a quick coffee? Okay, I get it. But if you're at the convenience store, why would you not just get a good coffee? Anyway, that's my opinion. Who cares about that? I certainly don't. Let's jump into the coffee. First one is Boss. Now, Boss is a big uh, coffee brand in Japan. You'll see it everywhere. I'm just thinking if it was that good, I would have probably seen it outside of Japan. But who am I to judge? Let's just jump right into it. So, bottoms up. This smells like your foot after you stepped in a pile of mud. So, let's uh, dig into the Boss. Oh, God. That's not a coffee. That's that's sugar milk with a, with a like a of coffee like like the worker had a mouthful of coffee and just went into every single can that's awful this is wanda and it's called the morning shot i wonder why it's called a morning shot let's find out what the f is that yeah, i'm gonna need a f morning shot to put me out of my misery after i drink this garbage what is that hold on guys i've got my inspecting glass let's have a look at the color of this what the f is that what is that like a splash of milk and like 20 grams of sugar this is like half a can of fucking coke boss coffee i give that a two out of ten uh barely drinkable to anyone who drinks actual coffee uh and this is probably a one this is somehow worse than the boss coffee this is the boss rainbow mountain blend not sure what the rainbow has to do with it perhaps the boss is pro lgbt which is fantastic but i have a feeling it's not that you can't even taste the coffee in this shit. Where is the coffee? Am I the asshole here? That's a one. That's a that's appalling. Uh, this is the craft boss coffee. And it's the latte. Can't wait. Love it. Love it. It's just sugar. That's a one out of ten as well. That's gross. This is the uh fire curing coffee. Okay. Got like a nice little texture to the can. Let's hope this one's as fire as it uh, advertises. Right? No? Okay, well, I'll just try it. That's not bad. Oh, there's like barely any sugar in it. That's probably why I like it. So just take that in mind when I do rate these, that if they probably have sugar, probably not gonna like them. Cause I'm, I'm sweet enough, right guys? Hmm. 
Yeah, that's like a six. I, I, I'm actually glad that I, I bought this because I've never had this one before. And uh, yeah, I could drink this again. Uh, this is the Georgia Mountain Blend. Oh, it's the number one, apparently, gamers. I'm hoping uh, with such bold claims, uh, it'll truly be number one. Oh, that had a really nice pop to it as well. God damn. Okay. Perhaps number one at tasting like a toilet? That implies that I've tasted my toilet. That doesn't matter. The point is, is that it just kind of tastes meh. It's a three, honestly. Uh, this is the UCC Black Roasted Blend Coffee, unsweetened. Why is my phone buzzing? Don't talk to me until I had my coffee, right? <laughs> I hate people who say that. Oh uh, yeah, the food just, it feels like really, really watered down espresso. I wouldn't really drink it myself. The boss here tasted a little stronger, so I'll give that the edge. I'll get to the four. All right, so that covers all the hot coffee that is available in Japan. All right, let's go into the cold car. Wonder shot, God damn it. Let me guess, it's gonna be the same shit, just cold, right? I did not like the taste. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's just sugar. Ah! One out of 10. I don't approve. Seven boss black deep bitter. What does that even mean? Seven's boss black? And it's roast level. There's light, medium, high, full city, French, or Italian. What does that mean? Frankly, it doesn't fucking matter when it's this cheap. So don't talk to me. Oh, that sounded really nice. That click was nice. Good taste. Good taste. I don't hate That's pretty good. I, all right, this co this caffeine just started to hit me. <laughs> That's a seven. That's nice. That's a nice bit of flavor. Holy shit, this caffeine is hitting like a truck. I think this is the 7-Eleven exclusive coffee. Perhaps there's seven reasons to hate it. <laughs> I'm hilarious. This is for all the canned coffee lovers on the front. So all three of them out there. Have you enjoyed this? I don't hate it. That's a five. You know, boss, I'm sorry. Boss man, I think the hot variety of your drinks frankly tastes like shit. I think someone needs to be fired, but this tastes great. Keep it up. Butter coffee? Am I stupid? Is, is butter coffee a thing? I've actually never heard of that before. What the f It tastes like butter and coffee. Ah! That's a zero. Oh, I can't get the taste of butter out of my mouth. What the f This is gonna get a 10 for rinsing my mouth of the other one. This is the UCC black. We had this earlier in the hop. This is the cold version. Oh, oh. 10 out of 10 for getting rid of the f butter flavor. It's a five. It's fine. It's black coffee. This is uh, wonder some shit. I don't, just, just listen to the snap. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, okay, so it looks more like the same. It looks quite sweetened. Mm. Oh God, it's dreadful. That's a two. I've had dirt that tasted more lubricant than that. What does that even mean? The reason why uh, I might be spitting some of them out is because I don't want to die today. I enjoy not having daily heart attacks or heart palpitations. Um, so if it does taste really bad, I'm just not going to drink it. Hope you understand. <laughs> All right, next up is the Georgia Japan Craftsman. And it says that it's the official Olympics coffee, which is fantastic because I'm going to guess that you're going to have to be an Olympic athlete to run the f away from all this garbage coffee, which I'm not. Let's try it. Cut the all 9,000 taste buds. Mm, yeah, that's not bad actually. That's a, yeah, I'll give that a six. Next up is the Bauru no Nama Cream de Porokeru Caféore. So it's double fresh cream. And apparently it says it's from Hokkaido. I feel like this is gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Um, but you know, let's see if the boss is, uh, boss man is not lying to me, if it tastes amazing or not. Okay. The cream actually doesn't taste that bad. This is really sweet, but almost to the point where it feels like a dessert drink. I wouldn't really have this as like a daily coffee. This is like a treat more than anything. I'll give that a seven. I'll be nice. I know I'm British, but I can be nice. This is the Georgia Americano Black Espresso. It's just an espresso. It's nothing particularly inspiring. I'll give you a five. That's what you deserve. A five. This is the... Premium boss. Can't wait to try the premium version as opposed to all the shit versions that we've had earlier. I'm not, if it's not premium, does that mean it's bad? They put enough sugar in this to ruin it, but not enough sugar to go all the way and it just be a sweet drink. That's a three out of 10. Stop doing that. I still have so much coffee to go. I'm dying. Out of all the food and drink, challenges or whatever you want to call them, tastings that I've done. This is the only one where I've never experienced anything like this before. I've never drank this much coffee in a row at one time. <laughs> 
You know, I, I've drank a lot of alcohol before, and I know I survive, but I haven't done that with coffee, so let's find out. I hear that you can get, like, hallucinations and stuff if you drink too much coffee. But luckily, that won't be happening, isn't that right, Kermit? So, it should be fine. This is the Craft Boss Black. It tastes like somebody has ran an espresso through a sewage system and then extracted it at the end. It does not taste good. What is going on, boss? I'm angry that you can't get an espresso right in some of your drinks, but in others, it tastes okay. What's going on? Tell me, is everything okay at the boss factory? Do I need to give somebody a hug? I will give somebody a hug. Reluctantly so, British, but I will do it. I'm starting to lose my mind. This is the Cafe Ore from Wanda. Oh, that, oh, God, that's so good though, every time. I want to hate on it, but every time I hear that crack, man, I feel so good inside. That's basically a hot chocolate. I don't even know if I taste coffee in there. You know, their name is Wonder, and it truly is a wonder that they're still in business at this point. That's terrible though, it's a zero out of ten though, seriously. That's terrible. Oh, we got the Georgia Mountain Blend. We had this one hot earlier. Dig in. It doesn't taste... Awful. It doesn't taste particularly good though. Yeah, I'll give it a four. I'll be generous. Georgia also make, I believe this is a drip coffee. I'm sure I'll be able to tell the difference between this and its other pitiful offerings. This does remind me of the taste of a sock. Now you will be wondering, Connor, why do you know what a sock tastes like? Well, uh, one time when I was younger, I wanted to skip school. And for some reason, I'd learned that if you put a sock in your mouth, your mouth would get so dry that you would just throw up. Don't know why I knew that. And I did that, and my mum didn't believe me, and she told me to go to school anyway. <laughs> this is the Boss Cafe Ole, which we had at the very start of the video, and it tasted god awful. And let's try it again in the cold variety. Mm -mm -mm. Yup, it still tastes absolutely dreadful. Thank you very much, Boss, for f***ing up your coffees. We have six canned coffees left, and then we're onto the carton coffee, which I actually do like. This is the Boss Black, and just in case you didn't know it was black by the color, uh, they've decided to write it in very big font. It tastes like an Americano that's been left out for four days, and then some intern thought that it was a good idea to serve it to you. Needless to say, a two out of ten. We have the Georgia Boost Latte, which I definitely need right now. I definitely need a boost to my energy, as I haven't had enough caffeine yet. It almost tastes like an energy drink mixed with a coffee. I'd give that a four or a five. The coffee's not very good, but the taste overall is quite nice. This is the Wonder Gold Premium. This is the premium beans. I can't take the word beans seriously after that one vine that's like, this guy's eating beans. It's still bad, but it's like when the one kid in class who just constantly f***s everything up finally gets a C. You're like, it's not good, but it's pretty good for you. I was that kid. <laughs> I've gotten so excited and ahead of myself, I haven't even been raising the coffees anymore. This is actually Wonder, a six. Good for you, Wonder. Let's try this one, shall we? Still good. It's a six out of 10 with a fire coffee. Good job, Kieran. This is the Rainbow Blend Coffee. Again, this is the cold variety of the hot one that we tried earlier. That is indeed a two out of 10. And this is the Seven Boss for all, for fuck's sake. Seventh Boss for all canned coffee lovers. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I take one small sip of every single coffee, how many coffee is that? Like four coffees. Just, just curious. For sake. I'm going insane. Which ones have I drank? Which ones have I drank already? After this canned coffee, I'm gonna do a little water, water, water break. A little water break. Oh, oh. All right, Georgia Black Drip Coffee. Let's see what you've got, gamer. Um, it's okay. I think I gave this one a three or a four, right? So I gotta give this one a five, I think. So far, I've reviewed all of the canned coffees, and I will say that this one is probably my favorite. We're on to the carton coffee, which looks like this. You'll see them everywhere in Japan. And normally, if I go to get coffee from a konbini and I want a cold one, I might get one of these, because they're actually not bad. This one's called The Dotor. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's a coffee chain that you see all in Japan. If you go to Shinjuku or anywhere in the middle of Tokyo, you'll see these. They're super cheap. They do uh, kind of okay food as well. Sandwiches that aren't bad, but they're reasonably priced. I'm normally not a fan of this chain's coffee, but I'll try it. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh my goodness. There's 20 grams of sugar in this alone, and this is 270 milliliters. I could probably easily drink all of this. I'm gonna give that a ah, six, seven, a seven. F this is the 
Family Mart. So I'm sure most of you watching this know about this, but there are three big convenience stores in Japan. There's Lawson's, which does this brand. Uh, the 7-Eleven, which I'm sure you Americans know, uh, that do this brand of coffee, and this Family Mart, which you see everywhere in Tokyo that does this brand. And they're the three major players in terms of convenience stores, and they all offer their own version of uh, cold coffees. When I was buying most of these, I got a lot of them from 7-Eleven. Uh, the old woman was very kind uh, and was very confused at why I was buying so many coffees. And I simply just told her that I like coffee. And uh, she looked at me very confused and scared, I think. It was a little bit of scared in there. It was definitely some fear. Let's try the Family Mart. So this is the non-sweet latte. That's nice. I like that one. I'm gonna drink this later. It's just milk, coffee, no sugar. It's good. That's all you need to do. That's the, that's the, that's the se secret tip, guys. So this is the sweet version and this is the bitter version, as they call it, which is uh, just no sugar. So bitter. Let's try 7-Eleven's sweet version. Oh, oh the straw bends. Oh, oh fancy. <laughs> it's quite sweet, but it still tastes better than 95% of all the other sweet ones that we've had today. I think it's a seven. That's pretty good. My heart is pounding at a rate that I've never experienced before, but alas, we must go forward. Come the f on. I'm sorry, is this made out of industrial strength steel? Why is this not puncturing? There we go. That's just good. Mm. I think there's a non-sweet version, and this is the, the, the bitter one, so absolutely like zero sugar, I think. And there's a version that has a little bit of sugar, which is normally red. No, what is it? I'm losing my damn mind. I think this one's better. This one tastes sweeter. This is good. I think this is a nine. Am I going insane yet? Do I look like I'm going insane? I feel like I'm going insane. On to the next one. <laughs> Lawson's. What do you have to offer today? Lawson's seems to always be my favorite in everything. I just think they do the best of everything. 7-Eleven, Family Mart, Lawson Gang Rise Up. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? All right, we ain't playing games here today. Mm, that's good. That's a nine. I'm gonna cry, it's so goddamn good. I've just been drinking shit coffee, shit coffee tasting drinks, shit coffee shit taste drink. I've just been drinking. This is the non-sweet version of this one. I've drank so much coffee that my brain is struggling to find. I think my mouth is operating before my brain decides what to tell it. All right, let's dig right in. Perfect. I think that's a 10. That's real. That's good. That's really nice. These two are completely different experiences. This is a, a, a truer coffee, a more bitter taste. And this is just fantastic for me. This one is sweet, but it's not too sweet. And it lets you enjoy the coffee by letting you taste the milk. It's great. Lawson's, whoever is in charge of your coffee department, give them a raise. Hell, I'll pay for the raise myself. This is amazing. This is the espresso. I think they meant to say bitter because there's 114 calories in this. And from my understanding of espressos, there are zero calories. So I don't think this is an espresso. I think what this is is uh, coffee with zero sweetener. I'm not really sure. What the f That tastes nearly identical to this one. The colors are very similar too. This tastes sweeter than the non-sweet version. And it's supposed to be espresso. Why? I take it back. Whoever needed the raise, you, you don't get that anymore. You got to fix this. What is this? This is not. What is this? Come on. Tell me you don't know what the f espresso is. Don't embarrass me like that. What the f is this? Okay, so we got a we got a honey latte and we have a caramel latte. <sighs> Holy fuck! You can't even taste the coffee. That's good for all the wrong reasons. That is fantastic. Holy shit. That is like an injection of caramel and sugar and I'm here for it. That's great. That is no right to be called a coffee. Co co <laughs> My brain is ceasing to work. All right, let's try it. I bet it will taste delectable. Oh, the, this one, by the way, I'll uh, give that a four. This in terms of coffee flavor is two. There's no coffee flavor going on. This in terms of a drink overall is pretty good. I gotta give it an eight. It's really delicious, but it's just too much sugar. Oh, whoa. It's like drinking just honey. Like I've just taken a bite out of the wasp's nest. F me, bee's nest. Wasps don't make honey, Carter. Come on! 
That should be a slogan. You're about to drink uh, your drink, and right on the front, you see it, it says, Take a bite out of the bee's nest. Like that. It's genius, Martin. You can have that for free. Far too sweet. If I had a sore throat, this would be perfect. But I don't, so f*** you. That's so 5 out of 10. I'm getting excited for the next drink. Let me tell you that much, gentlemen. This is the Cafe Ore from Family Mart, and it's the sweet version. The branding isn't too, you know, exciting on this. I do like how, you know, at least on the Lawsons, they do like cute little illustrations. I like how they, they give a f On Family Mart, they're just like, just put some text on there. Who, who cares? It's f***ing coffee. Shut the f*** up and drink. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's a six. It's a six. Alrighty. This is the Family Mart black coffee. You know, normally, if it's black coffee, it should be zero calories, but it's 10 calories. And that's because they've added some sugar and some other stuff. People who drink black coffee don't like sugar. So don't put it in. That's a zero out of 10. All right, next up is the sugar-free coffee from Lawson's. There's sugar in it. What? Am I stupid? I don't know what coffee beans they've used for this one, but it's not very nice. Really, really sour. That's a, like a three out of 10. That's not good. This is the 7-Eleven Premium Gold Cafe Latte. Why is there so many variations? This feels completely unnecessary. Clearly, you know, the variation is working because people are buying them, but it's just, it just feels excessive. Holy shit. Give it a shot, gamers. Yeah, that is a bit better. I would give that a seven. It does taste like dirt water, but kind of pleasant dirt water. The kind that you would take home to your parents to introduce, you know? Don't really know which brand this was, but it was available at the convenience store. Quite a large circumference. That's what people say to me when I stand up because of my damn thick... <sighs> Luckily, because it's 4K, you can... Zoom in, and it looks fantastic, which I love. I don't need this today! First time. Why is there so much goddamn sugar in this thing? Maybe a two. Ah. All right, we were nearly done, actually. So far, this one is my favorite still. So we have these ones, which are another brand that you see sometimes in Japan, called Mount Rainier, and it's the mountain of Seattle, apparently. Does this brand exist in Seattle? Let me know. Uh, if it doesn't, kind of concerning that it does exist in Japan, but oh well, let's give it a shot. This is the cafe latte. Uh, this is the non-sweet version. And then this is the vanilla version, which is themed like a beach. Little ice cream and surfers on it. Isn't that cute? So cute. Warm as my cold British heart. All right, let's dig into it. Let's try the normal version. Yeah, I'll give that a six. Let's try the non-sweet version. I'd say that's like a seven. That's slightly better than this one. Right, let's try the vanilla version. Vanilla is my favorite flavor of ice cream. Haha, <laughs> yes, I'm basic. I know I like vanilla, okay? It's really good. Like, really good. I hate that it tastes so good. I gotta give it a 10. It's so good. It's so sweet. And it tastes just like vanilla ice cream, though, with coffee. It's so good. Yeah, so that's all the... uh carton coffee and yeah these two are my favorite it's the vanilla latte uh, from mount rainier 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 M mount rainier i don't know how to pronounce that and the non-sweetened latte pens used to get a 10 in my book these are the last bottled cold coffees that i have and then i have some other strange things to finish off the video so let's try this this is the ucc cold brew black which we've already had in can form i think and let's see if it tastes any better in bottle form no I can feel my heart beating through every crevice of my body. That is a two. That is a terrible drink. This is the Craft Boss Pocket Latte. We all know that we like to keep drinks in our pocket. Oh my goodness, boss. Whoever is making these lattes, please have a word with them. I, 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 am I dying? I look dead. I must be dead. I feel like it. This is the Georgian Japan Craftsman uh, Cafe Latte Coffee. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? That's a zero. Why are we here just to suffer? Why? I just want to enjoy a nice coffee. Nice coffee for my morning. And I got to endure this, this shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Coffee time. This is the craft boss, as opposed to the the, the non craft Boss, what is going on with the branding here, buddy? I don't know the difference. They all have boss on them. I don't know what's happening. Let's try it. Why? Who, who greenlit this? And this is the just cafe latte. Five stars. I don't know who decides what's five stars in the coffee world, but it shouldn't be you, clearly. Let's give it a shot, eh? Not awful, not terrible. Frankly, I'm not happy. I would trade my firstborn son 
to stop drinking this god awful coffee. That's on film now as well, so I have to, that's a deal. Oh my God. Now that we're done with all of the normal coffee drinks, let's get onto the kind of bizarre ones. So let's go through all of this real quick. In Japan, they are obsessed with jelly. I can't stand jelly. I think jelly is probably the worst dessert. And if there was a tier list of desserts, jelly would be right at the bottom at Z. That probably isn't even the Z on the list, but it deserves to be there. Jelly is terrible, it's cheap, it tastes like ass, and frankly, I don't know why people eat it. In Japan, they decided that they would become obsessed with jelly, and they would just start adding f***ing everything to jelly. Octopuses, fish, shoes, socks, coffee, whatever can fit in the jelly format, it goes in the jelly format. They also do this bizarre thing, which I actually quite liked when I moved here, but then I got an actual coffee machine and I, I went off it. They do this thing where they give you just kind of Americano in a carton, uh, and you can just kind of drink it at home. You can add as much milk as you want to it. And they're normally really cheap. These are normally like, you know, like less than a buck. That's pretty good. I've never said the word buck in my life. I've normally say quid, pound, I've clearly been Americanized by my audience, send help. And then we have this thing, which they've already pre-mixed with milk, and I imagine tastes god awful. And then this, I don't even know what this is. This just says Cafe Ore, which means Cafe Ole. Let's start with the carton of coffee, sure. This is the sugar-free coffee. I'm just gonna drink it, like, straight up, like a barbarian. I mean, it's really bitter, but that'd be really nice in the morning. I like that. I'm, keep, I'm keeping this one too. I don't think we sell anything like this in Europe. I've never seen this. I think it's really interesting. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Five out of ten. Oh, uh, this is the one that you have to open up. Oh, for f***'s sake, I hate this. Oh, it smells really sweet. Oh, okay. Okay, Connor. Three, two, one. Mm. That milk is awful. It's so sweet. It's so artificial. God, I must sound like such a pretentious twat. I don't like the artificial flavors. I've got such a refined... Pa I don't. I'm a f***ing monkey. What is this? It's so bright. This is as white as my skin color. So there's probably about a drop of coffee in here. Let's have a look. Oh, that's just milk. It must just be like for kids to like, I guess you want to get your kid into coffee for some reason. And you give him this. You can't taste the coffee at all. It's all milk and sugar. Maybe a drop of coffee. Maybe, you know, from the sewage drain that coffee runs through. They're just like, oh, we had a, a drop of that. <laughs> Perfect. Bottle it up. Let's try the coffee jellies. In Japan, they call them coffee zeri. All right, let's give this a shot. What the fuck? Oh, it's like milk with cubes of coffee in it? Like a cube of coffee, like jelly format with some milk. I guess I'll give it a shot. Oh, oh. It's like a like a sweetened cafe latte with a just a jelly coffee cube in it. Oh, what the fuck? That's a zero out of ten. I do not like that. What is this? This is all just black coffee jelly. Give it a shot, eh? Oh, it's so bad. Oh, oh, my body is pain. I feel my heart going into cardiac arrest from all this fucking shit. <laughs> At least I'm done. I'm finally done. Oh! These two are my favorite. This is a great all day, non-sweetened coffee. This is a great sweet treat with a bit of a coffee hint in there. It's just great taste, really good taste. Now, if you really do want good coffee in Japan, there are a ton of independent stores that are 50-50 on whether or not they will be amazing or awful tasting coffee. You just kind of got to go and find out. Uh, there are some really good chains that are American that are in Tokyo. Like, I really like Blue Bottle Coffee. I think that coffee tastes really good. It's really expensive, but it tastes amazing. And they're in Japan for some reason. I don't know why. Starbucks legitimately isn't terrible here. It's really bad in the UK, but it doesn't taste god awful here. Not really sure why. It's pretty good. So if you really want good coffee in Japan, just go to those places or just stick to the ones that I rated well here or just get coffee from the kombini. Or when you go to the convenience store, there's always a coffee machine. Just buy that one. It's pretty damn good. I hope you've enjoyed this wild ride of a video. I'm going to lie down for 10 hours and not move so that my heart rate can slow the f*** down. <laughs> but also, please do let me know if there's something else that you want me to try everything of in Japan. But I hope you enjoyed this video. That's been me. I'll leave you guys to it. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. Bye.